Jenny here from Stampin' Eat. Welcome to my craft room this week. And this week is going to be a little bit different. So you might want to grab yourself something to drink. Because I have a little bit of show and tell to do with you today. Um, I received some brand new products yesterday in the mail or by courier. And I want to show you what they look like. And then at the end I want to do... A very quick card with you based on one of the products that I received so the very very first thing that I want to show you this off well I'm recording it this afternoon <laughs> that I want to show you um, in this video is the brand new rustic Christmas countdown kit um, now I do just want to say I am NOT a kit fan and I'm really sorry for those people out there that um, if I'm offending you by saying that, I'm not a ba big fan of kits. Um, I have did a few kits with my mum. Hi mum, I know you're watching this. Um, I took a few with me last year when I went to visit her back in South Africa. And there were some nice ones that we did in there and it was fun. And I get the whole idea behind kits, but it's just not me. So the fact that I've bought this kit says everything and it is absolutely gorgeous so you're gonna get 25 little tag bags like this these are um little adhesives these are obviously your dimensionals there is red cotton and then there's this twine that you're going to use these pegs i mean look at the size of these pegs they're proper size pegs and this is the goal you're making these little pockets um, as an advent calendar so that as a countdown calendar for Christmas there are these red embellishments then there are these countdown wooden um, timber looking like um, circles and rectangles and then there's the gold so there's a variation um, when you're doing it that it doesn't all look the same then you've got these pop-outs that you're going to adhere, leaves and bows, and poinsettias, and holly berries, and then I just need to be careful, this one's really falling out, these little um, Christmas wreaths, and then there's this one that you're going to add the holly berries to. And then you, I think it's patterns of four. And you're going to make um, that pattern over and over and over again. So this is the Rustic Christmas Countdown Kit that you can get under the kits. And I love it. I am a big fan. I blame my German heritage on this. Um, I'm a big fan of anything Advent. I have very fond memories of having the most beautiful Advent calendar as a child. And my mum had one for me and one for my sister. And I wanted the same one every year, which my sister wasn't always happy about. Anyway, all right. The next thing I want to show you is um, what we call an online exclusive. Now, there are two ways you can get your hands on this drop dead. And you'll notice I'm bringing them out very slowly. Um, the one way is by becoming a demonstrator and joining my team if you are not yet a demonstrator. If you are a demonstrator, you can have um, use this as a pre-order. So that's one way. And for the month of October, Stamping Up has announced the most incredible um, special for joining, the 35 um, special and basically you can get, I'll put all the details on it um, below for you, um, but you can either choose to have 35% off your starting pack or you can pay the regular price and get 35% more to spend on product and I would go with that personally, but that's your decision. So that's one way to do it because then you can actually include this as part of your starter kit, the Garden Meadow Bundle. But the other way is if you are a regular customer, then this will become available to you from the 7th of November. And when you see these papers, I am going to suggest that if you like what you see, that if you are um, wanting to shop with me and get that, you need to get that 
pretty quickly. I think they're going to go really quickly. And with online exclusives, we don't have any guarantees of stock values or stock levels. So you basically get what you get. If it's sold out, whether they reimburse the stock, um, I don't, it's up to stamping up. So the first thing that attracted me was this Garden Meadow die. Um, and let me just move my camera a little bit here for you. Let's just bring that in just a tad so that you can see the whole die. So I love the sentiment. I can't imagine having a better friend. It's got some gun boots thinking of you. It's got gates, um, garden tools. Every day is a fresh start. I love that too. It's got some flowers. So all of these can be colored in. Hello, some quail. Beautiful. I love wheelbarrows and flowers. Watering cans, some more flowers. And a little bit of a shadow effect there to create a shadow. Um, photopolymer, I've already put mine in. So, And you'll see there's this one that we're going to work with today. So very easy to position and work with these stamps. And um, then it comes with matching dies. So the gates come separate. So you can either die cut out the stamped image or you can create a separate die cut image. These are the flowers, but then it's also got extra dies that are not in the stamps where you can create some heels and grass. Um, wheelbarrow gum boots. These are the little flowers, the basket, the tools. Um, sorry, I said watering can, not wheel, not um, not the wheelbarrow. And then it's got this arch, which will be very interesting. To um, guessing it's going to cut the centerpiece out. So those are the dies. And then, of course, you can buy them separately or in the bundle. You always will save 10% by buying in a bundle. Then part of the suite are these adhesive back dragonflies and birds. And they're very flat. If you look at them, there is no, um, they're, they're like literally paper thin. So you've got some swallows flying in the direction to the right, some birdies to the left, and then dragonflies. They look like they seem to be all in one size. And then in the suite is this pecan pie ribbon. Um, so it's in very vanilla with this pecan pie stitching and it is it is reasonably thick um, but it does tie in a bow quite nicely. Um, I can see that would work really beautifully. There we go. It would work really beautifully in cards like, um, like a fun fold card or something like that where you've got your bow or even um, using this as an accent so that's really really pretty but by far and where all the fuss has been made everywhere is the paper so what I'll do is I'll show you the back of the paper first so we've got um, these sort of colors and I think they're 14 colors so this is the called the the B side of the paper I mean, this is really gorgeous. Um, some beautiful solids. I quite like that. I think that'll go quite nicely with earthen textures. Um, that's quite, that reminds me of a, a pond. And some nice brights. Lemon lime twist. Garden green. And then this one, actually, um, I used the reverse of it for the card we're going to do. And it just embosses beautifully. So I might sacrifice that for the back of that. Now let me show you the A side. So these are all based on oil paintings. I think oil or maybe water colors. And they all, so it's called Meandering Meadows. And they are 12 by 12s. All right. Um, so we've got this scene over here. And there's 48 pieces, so you're getting 48 pieces, so how many are in the series? 15, oh no, I don't know, not sure, I think they're four, one, two, three, four, so 12 patterns, 
Okay. 12 patterns, four sheets of each. So that's those colors. And then we've got, oh, yep, here's the fourth one. So we've got this seam. And then we've got this beautiful color over here. And here's some, looks like cornflowers. Gorgeous. And some beautiful, there's some fences in the background. Just stunning, stunning colors. This is my favorite. I love this one. So we've got that. And this is also nice and bright. Okay. And then this one I'm going to be using in my show cards, show and make and take for you with you today. This is also a beautiful one. And then this is the last one with just a bright pink field of flowers. So those are the Meandering Meadows. It's available in the suite of all these products I've shown you. Or, of course, you can buy them individually. So then the other thing I wanted to show you before we do the make and take is a, um, a sneak peek that we get as demos. One of the benefits we get as demos is to pre-order things early. And this, what I'm going to show you now, is going to be coming in the mini catalogue. And it's called Be My Valentine. So it's all punny little sayings about bees. So be mine, you're as sweet as honey. Um, happy Valentine's Day, you'll always be the one for me. You make my heart buzz. And some honeycombs and bees and flowers and little funny faces to be stamped on the bee. And then it comes with the matching punch where you're going to stamp out the bee body. And little hearts um, and if you wanted to you could even make that a speech bubble so again it's a photopolymer so that's quite handy and then in the suite it comes with this sweet sorbet ribbon which has got a nice white trim to it so that's quite pretty it comes with these adorable adhesive backed hearts and flowers which I've already tucked into <laughs> And you'll see where I've used them. Again, these are super flat. You see how flat these are? Flowers and hearts. I've already used some of them. So cute. They are so cute. So there's 64 pieces of that. Then it comes with this true square pillow box, which I haven't yet assembled. I haven't had time to do that yet. So that's going to be interesting to put together. And they are food safe and then it comes with this gorgeous paper so let me just flick through these very quickly so we've got bees and we've got gingham and then we've got honey and little bee trails in sweet sorbet and we've got another little this this is gorgeous and the reverse of that is petal pink and sweet sorbet Really interesting, the petal pink. Um, I haven't been using petal pink a lot, and they seem to be really pushing it a lot in these color schemes. This is gorgeous. I love these flowers. Matches those little daisies. Some pretty little flowers on this, and then it comes with a gorgeous stripe. That would make a nice box or bag with the contrast. Um, lemon lime twist, I think, is the color in here. And then petal pink in the, um, and I think this is the last one. Yeah. So on the back, it, as I've already pointed out many times, uh, Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, Petal Pink, Pool Party, and Sweet Sorbet. Those are the colors in this designer series paper. And as I've mentioned, um, if you are a demonstrator or if you would like to become a demonstrator, um, if you sign up, during the month of all i almost said august if you sign up during the month of october then you will automatically be registered for the on stage virtual event happening um on the 11th of november and that be my valentine is one of the products that we're going to be working with um on the virtual event and so we got to place that order 
as one of the benefits of being a demonstrator. So if you would love to join my team, I would love to have you join my team. So I will have the link below for you to have a read all about it. But let's make this card together. Now, I do want to give credit to Laura Siki or Saiki. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Um, I saw this version of her card on our local Facebook page for demonstrators. And I think she did an amazing job of utilizing this Meandering Meadows 6x6 paper. So I want to do it, but let's use this paper. And I'm going to orientate it into a landscape form. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to bring in the Daffodil Delight um, cardstock for this. And I have my bone folder. And when you have paper as stunningly gorgeous as papers like this, you really want to get the benefit of it. So what I need to do is I need to trim down my um, designer series paper so that I can maximize the, um, the whole paper. So I'm wanting it to be five and a half by four and a quarter. And the five and a half is going to be the length. So it's six, so I need to get rid of a quarter inch on each side. So that I bring it down. Oh, right. Hang on a minute. Yeah, no, no, that's right. A quarter inch. It's just thinking. Oh, that's going to... Let's just have a look. And then it's four and a quarter. And I've got it six. So, oh, the sums, the sums, the sums. Let me just check if this is going to be... Honestly, I wish when they had taught us maths at school, they had said... No, I need to cut this down a bit smaller. Um... What do I want this at? So this is five and a half, and I want it at five and a quarter. So, I've got, oh, it needs to go off another another quarter of an inch, so that's an eighth of an inch. Quarter of an inch, so that's an eighth of an inch. I wish at school they had given me paper craft to do for, for maths. I'm sure I would have done much better at it then sitting learning about algebra and all that jazz there we go all right so i took off i took off how much did i take off i took off a quarter of an inch and it is i'm doing this with you all right and that is a quarter of an inch so that's one eight so that's three and seven eighths okay so that's quite a lot three and seven eighths so let's just go with half, and then let's see how much I have to chop off there. I don't want to chop off, see, that's going to be too much skies, and I don't want to lose too many flowers, so I'm going to go with another half. Okay, and three and seven eighths. All right. I hope I've done the right thing. Yep, I think so. Yeah, so I've still got the flowers. That's great. Cool. Now my mat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my deckled circle. And I'm going to place this in the middle. And I'm going to bring in my my um. Hold on. I'm just going to... Make the sandwich in front of you and then run it through. Ah, da, da. Sounds like it wants to. Sounds like the, there's thunder outside. Okay, so I'm going to do that much. And I'm using my sticky note to hold this. I've got the sticky. Sticky note to hold this in place. Go on, don't move on me now. Okay bringing in my cut and emboss machine and my it's like what have I done with my plate I have a feeling I might have moved it oh dear well let's have a look all right I will need to use my cut and emboss machine again 
So now I've got this portion and this, I did move it, look at that. Ah, that's annoying. But anyway, that's all right. We will just carry on. I need to get my embossing folder, which I have put away. Now when I walk away from my phone where I'm recording, my husband always says to me, now why is it going softer? And it's going softer because I've stepped away from my phone and I've got a lapel mic and obviously as it gets softer. Right, so I'm going to be using the Time Worn 3D for this. And I'm literally, let's just bring it back in the camera. I'm just bringing that into my embossing folder, which is a 3D folder. So I've got my plate. Oh my gosh, guys, sorry. I thought this wasn't a 3D. Let me just get the right lid. Okay, right plate. So putting number four over, wheeling it through. My head's been spinning since I received all my stuff because I've been wanting to show you some ideas and it's like what do I show you um, yeah so it's been a little bit crazy okay so now what we've got is we've just got some interest on there and I'm going to just glue this using my glue see what I mean about the backs when they emboss they're quite pretty um, this one was like that copper clay. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I thought, hmm, that could be quite pretty too. But then you're sacrificing that picture. So I don't know. Will I, will I be brave enough? I'm not sure. Okay, so we're popping this in the middle. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals. And I'm putting that... I've got the edge, so I'm just going to go across and across. Right, that's the end of that sheet. So I'll just lift this up, lift that up. So this is going to be a longer video, and now I'm just matching this, getting it into don't want the I don't want oh oh no 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 that's not what I must do I'm supposed to put it on the mat uh oh okay let's see if I can save this all right that was not what I was oh all right too late okay it's going on the mat so it's going on a mat and then I'm gonna because I've put dimensionals on that I'm gonna make this flat what I did in the other one was I glued it, I made it flat onto the mat, and then I put dimensionals on. Okay. Like this. Cool. Now inside here, I brought the rest of that paper so that you get the, the continuation. Um, I don't think this is going to work because it's sort of like a sky. So I don't really think the idea, you could probably bring that piece in that might look nice um at the bottom yeah let's do that let me go and grab have i got a liner so i'm just walking away again let me go and grab a liner let's have a look i think that will look pretty yeah let's do that um it's a different look because it's not um like the other one where it had that definite scene happening this I chopped off the sky so that's not quite the same cool and we'll bring those flowers in like that brilliant fantastic so I think with this one I might actually just leave this one plain um, there's not Necessarily, it's not a bad thing to sometimes leave cards blank. Um, this one, I used the stamp from this suite. And as you can see, I've put those swallows in there. And then I just colored a basic rhinestone with some wild, oh, with, um, I didn't have wild root, with dark pecan pie. 
uh, colored the rhinestone. And then I just want to show you, I grabbed, um, I just grabbed the same paper as this one yesterday. To be honest, I don't like the color scheme that I opted for, um, but I was just trying out a fun fold and it sort of goes like this. And then here are those little flowers that I just put a pair of boots down. Um, I was just thinking of my friend Karen and we often go walking together. So I'm probably, I would, I brought in the lemon line twist there, but I would probably do it differently. But it's still quite a nice way to get the idea of the um, papers. So yeah, that's that's a nice, I like the fun fold. I'm just not so happy about the colors that I opted for, but I wanted to show you anyway. So yes, that's this is what I just wanted to get up to with you today and just show you the brand new pieces, um, sweets that are coming in. I wanted to tell you about the options, about how you can get your hands on them. If you, like me, absolutely adore paper. I'm a sucker for paper. I'm a sucker for ribbon. Um, so if any of this has sort of grabbed your attention and you're thinking to yourself, oh my word, I definitely want to um, get those now, then the best way to do that is to join my team as a team member. Um, to do that, you do need to be in New Zealand, and to do that, you do need to um, not have a team leader over you. So do reach out. Um, the link below is for that. But if you are not wanting to become a demo, then you will just need to wait very patiently until the 7th of November when these launch. And if the little bees um, made you buzz, <laughs> then you'll just need to wait until the new catalog launches in January. All right. So that's me. That's me for this week. I hope that's been a fun session um, looking at brand new products and that you will have an amazing week and I will catch you next week in my craft room. But remember until we meet again, to stamp, to eat, to sleep and repeat. <laughs>